Hey guys, Reginald Duck here. Today I've got a combo tutorial for Skull Servants. So a few caveats for the deck before I get into it. When I'm activating Shadol Fusion, I'm acting as if they've got an extra deck monster on the field. Because most of the time, with it being a blind second deck, your opponent will have someone from the extra deck. If your opponent's not playing an extra deck focused deck, then you just side these out and try and play more sort of draw spells. So this is always being activated as if you're fusing from deck. So let's get into it. So for this first combo, I'm going to show you what a white princess plus a white mare will end on. So, these are both in hand. You obviously normal summon your white princess first. Using its effect, you're going to send the white prince to the graveyard. So, copy of white prince. His effect will then trigger, so you're going to send a copy of skull servant and the lady in, the white, in white to the graveyard. You're going to then use his effect in graveyard by Chanel 3 to summon a king of the skull servants from the deck. So, King of the Skull Servants is there. This gains a thousand attack for every Skull Servant in Graveyard and King of the Skull Servants. So, you're going to activate the effect of White Mare in hand, discarding it, special summon the Lady in White. You're going to overlay these two into your Levier, the Sea Dragon. Levier effect, you're going to detach either of these, it doesn't really matter, to summon back the White Prince. And you're going to link these two off into an anaconda. Effect of White Prince, when it's sent to Graveyard again, you'll get its effect again. So you're going to send another copy of Skull Servant and the Lady in White. Now you're going to activate the anaconda's effect, sending Shadol Fusion, which will then send Beast and another copy of White Prince. Um, summon out the Winder. Um, effective White Prince and Effective Beast. So chain it one, chain it two, so you can't ash this. So you'll draw one. Then White Prince, send these two again. So now you've got a Winder, you've got an Anaconda, and your Skull Servant, well, King of Skull Servants is on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand attack. So just off this simple two card combo, you can summon a monster with nine thousand attack. So that's the first of the combos. So you can actually perform the same combo except with Uni Zombie and White Mare. Except you'll have a King of the Skull Servants with 8,000 attack instead of 9,000. And your opponent has to control a monster with a level for this to work. So first of all, you activate, well, summon Uni Zombie using its effect to target your opponent's monster, boost its level by one to send the White Prince, which will then send these two. Then you banish these three. Summon out the King of the Skull Servants. Activate the effect of White Mare. Summon out the Lady in White. This is still level 3. That's why you had to boost your opponent's monster because you need this level 3 so you can make the Levier. So you go Levier. Summon out the. Well, there's your Levier. Use its effect. Summon out the White Prince. Link these two off again into a copy of Anaconda. White Prince Effect, send these two, and then Anaconda Effect, send Shadol Fusion, send Beast, send White Prince, and then these two. So you get the Winder, and then these all go to Grave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The reason you're missing one from last time is you've not got the white princess, you've got the uni zombie instead. So still 8000 attack, really great, just a slight variation on the combo. So this combo actually isn't an OTK, it only does 7000 damage. So if your opponent's activated an instant fusion or whatever else, it is still an OTK. But it's if you've, it's not a brick, you can still do a pretty good combo, but it's not actually a game. Because this locks you into attacking with zombies. So first of all, you're going to activate the uni zombie. Uni zombie effect. Sending the copy of White Prince, which will then send a Skull Servant and a Lady in White. Banish these three to summon out your copy of King of the Skull Servants. Then you're going to act the, activate the Shadow Fusion, sending the Beast and the White Prince. Then you're going to summon the Winder. Draw one and send two. So you're going to draw. It's a quick draw synchron. And you're going to send these two. 
So this can be a two card combo, but you don't want a Rift come to draw something if you don't have to, so you want to just discard anything better than this. Because you don't want to draw, for example, Skull Slump and have to discard it to boost this level. So Quick Draw is fine to discard. So obviously this goes to Grave. Discard the Quick Draw, make this level 5, because it was already made level 4 when it sent the um, White Prince. Synchro these two. Well, it's not just Synchro, it's a special summon of the Ultimate Zulkin. Effect of Winder, add back the Shadol Fusion. Set Shadol Fusion. Which will then trigger the Zulkin, summon the Power Tool Dragon. To search out one of your three Opti Camouflage Armors. Equip it to King of the Skull Servants. Link these two into Anaconda. Effect of Anaconda. Send this. Well, send obviously Shadal Fusion. Send this. Send this. And then Effect of White Prince. Send this and this. To summon out Winda. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's actually 6,000 attack, not 7,000. I was wrong on that. But if you discarded a Skull Servant off the effect before, when you discarded for the Uni Zombie, then it would have been 7,000. But it's still a 6k beater that can attack directly. Um, any extender, like for example a burial from a different dimension or a white mare to put two of these back would then make it game. But this is literally just a two card version. So for this next combo, you don't actually need your normal summon. So you've got a quick draw, a Shadal Fusion and a White Prince. So using the quick draw to summon itself by discarding the White Prince. Effect of White Prince. You're going to send... Lady and White and Skull Servant to the graveyard, then use the effect to summon out the King of the Skull Servants. Activate Shadal Fusion, sending White Prince and Shadal Beast. Effect of White Prince, sending these two to summon out the Winder. Shadal Fusion goes to graveyard. Special summon the Zalkin from the extra deck, and then add back the Shadal Fusion of the Winder. Set Shadal Fusion, summon out Power Tool Dragon, effect, add Opti Camouflage Armor, equip to King of the Skull Servants, link these two, make Anaconda, effect, send Shadal Fusion, send Dragon, send White Prince, send Lady in White and Skull Servant. To summon Winder. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six skull servants in grave. If again, if you had any extend or anything to fill up your grave anymore, like you know, bury off from a different dimension, then it would be game. But at the minute you've got a six K beta that can attack directly, if it will be destroyed by battle, you can bring it back by banishing a skull servant. You've got a Winder and you've got a Shadal Fusion set for next turn. So this is a three and a half card combo. These can be any two, this can be either a white mare, a where art thou, or a burial from a different dimension, and this just needs to be any card you can discard. If you don't have a card you can still do the combo when you draw off the beast, but if you'd rather do it early so then you can definitely have something good you want to discard. So from this starting hand you're going to normal summon the uni zombie, using its effect to tag it itself and send a copy of white prince. Which will then in turn send Lady in White and Skull Servant. Banish these three to summon out King of the Skull Servants. And you're going to activate Shadal Fusion, sending Shadal Beast and White Prince. To summon out the Shadal Winder. Effective White Prince and Beast. So chain link one, chain link two. You're gonna draw a card. And you're going to send this and this. So now you're going to discard your blank card. And if you didn't have a blank card, this is when you discard the gold servant, but you really don't want to. Because you want to be able to send this and the white lady in white at the same time. 
So you discard your blank card to make this level 5. So now you actually synchro these two as you one special summon into your copy of Ultimaya Zulkin, the spice of the deck. And then because window is sent to graveyard, you actually get to add the Shadol Fusion back to hand. Then you're going to set the Shadol Fusion, which will then trigger the effect of Zulkin, swinging out the Power Tool Dragon. Effect of this, you can reveal three copies of Opti Camouflage Armor. So you reveal three, add one to your hand. You're going to actually activate the Opti, Cam Opti Camouflage Armor, targeting the King of the Skull Servants. It can now attack directly because it's level one. Then you're going to use the effect of the White Mare that you've had in hand. Discard it to send the Skull Servant to the grave. Link these two into your Anaconda. Then use its effect to send Shadow Dragon, White Prince, to get another copy of Winder. Then effect of White Prince, send Lady and White, and lastly the Skull Servant in your hand. So now you've obviously got a Winder, you've got a Skull Servant, a King of Skull Servants that can attack directly, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thousand attack. So it's actually another TK. You can attack directly, it's got 8,000 attack. So that's that combo for you. So this has been my Skull Servant combo tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed it, hope you've all learned a lot. I've really enjoyed making this, I really love this deck. Um, it's been so much fun figuring out all the different combos like the Winder and the Zulkin. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.